Look at this crybaby. Look at this crybaby. Y'all keep playing with LeBron James. Uh, little crybaby. Now, we've been talking about Delonte West, the things he has been going through, right? I said it's that LeBron James effect. D-Money laughed at me. He thought it was a joke. LeBron has not reached out to Delonte West at all, being so disrespectful. And that's what he get. I told D-Money, if I saw Delonte West on the street, I would walk over top of him like AI did Tyron Lue in, in the finals. We team LeBron over here. But we have another hater that is feeling the wrath of King James. The LeBron James effect has now hit again. Ennis Cantor cannot get a job in the NBA. Ennis Cantor recently spoke on free agency. He says, free agency is open for one month. Normally, I should have already received authors. This summer, I did not receive one single author. Who you with? Who you with? God damn it, Ennis Cantor, who you with? Remember when you stuck your chest out so big and bad at New York when you tried to fight and intervene with LeBron James and uh, Frank, what was his name, Inalika, Inalika, whatever his name is, and you done had so much to say, so much slick talk to say about LeBron James over the years. How ironic, brother. You don't think the Lakers could use that size right now? I mean, Ennis Can is not the youngest of guys, but I'm not going to sit up here and play this game like Ennis Cannon cannot play the game of basketball. If he's able to play that role, I think a team would be successful with him playing his position and playing his part. I don't really see him giving that much trouble to teams on the court, but that big mouth of yours, all that extra talking, all them jokes, all that slick talk in this can of look at you now, you bastard. You're crying because no one wants to pick you up and let you play on their team. This is what you get, my brother. The Lakers could use you. The Lakers could use you. They don't have the white no more. They could use the rim protection. They could use the size. Why not? Mostly anyone that's going to be coming on that team anyway is only going to be signed for maybe a year or two at the most. There's probably a couple franchises that could use you, but namely the Lakers, because they are they are known to pick up players of your caliber to fill the roster. But that big mouth of yours have now got you in the position where as though you ain't getting no damn calls. How does it feel? How does it feel in this canna? Wow. I like this. You know, you can call me a hater and say, yo, Seven, why is you praising and so happy about this man not having a job, not being able to provide and feed his family? He's already going through a personal issue or a war with Turkey with his own country. I don't care because all those things were true when he was talking bad about LeBron. And when you talk bad about LeBron, you're going to suffer the damn consequences. Especially when you're not one of those guys. Multiple times in this Canada has had something to say now, LeBron James, the face of the league. And now you're not even getting a phone call. Is LeBron James somehow blackballing in this can from the NBA? I don't think so. I wouldn't go that far. Blackballing is a big term. When it comes to the Lakers, most definitely, LeBron is not going to have in this can on that ball club. 
But other teams, LeBron to me is not pressed to make sure that Ennis Canna doesn't have a job. But that big mouth for Ennis Canna, all the slick talk he had about LeBron James over the years, now he can't get a job. Now he is crying because we are over a month into free agency and he has not won phone call not one and that's what he get Delonte West Ennis Canna let this be a valuable lesson to you both you don't want to play with the king the LeBron James effect is real Ennis Canna he's crying now Oh, we a month in the free agency. I usually get phone calls by now. I haven't got one offer. I know. I know. How does it feel? That's all I want to know is how does it feel? I wish I had some Bobby Womack to play right now. Other news in the NBA. The Los Angeles Lakers star Russell Westbrook has signed with free agent or with the agent, excuse me, Jeff Schwartz of Excel Sports. So he didn't go with Clutch. He went with Jeff Schwartz of Excel Sports for his representation. Did you guys know Russell Westbrook is the only player in the NBA with multiple scoring and assist titles? Pretty interesting stat from a guy who I feel like his basketball IQ is like the same as mine. Spencer Dinwiddie plans to produce a new show about the future of finance. Shout out to Spencer Dinwiddie of the Dallas Mavericks. We already kind of talked about the NBA. They started an investigation of the New York Knicks for allegedly tampering in the signing of Jalen Brunson for the Dallas Mavericks. And, and I don't have no remorse for the New York Knicks. Another stupid decision. Now you're about to face an investigation after sp getting all that money to Jalen Brunson. Jalen effing Brunson. I told y'all this was the biggest mistake that New York had made in a long time, offering that guy that amount of money. Yes, he played well next to Luka. He helped Luka and Dallas get to, what, the second round last year? Maybe, the, what was it, the West Conference Finals? I mean, he did good, but my, my, my. Would he get $120 million from New York? Jalen Brunson is not carrying that team no damn well. And now y'all didn't even do that right. Now the NBA is investigating y'all tampering, so y'all might lose more money, more picks, like the New York Knicks can really afford to lose anything. What a joke. What a joke. But I can't wait till this NBA season, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to tell y'all again. This 76 NBA season will be the best NBA season we will have ever seen. When it talk, when we talk about talent, storylines, drama, it's up. It's up this season. Kawhi Leonard is back. You're going to see Kawhi and PG trying to take the reins of the Clippers. Of course, we know the Lakers story. Then we got with everything going on with KD and Kyrie. How's that going to play out in Brooklyn? James Harden going to have a point to prove. And Philly is do or die with him and Joel Embiid. You got all these rookies coming out the league. You got the Ball brothers trying to really uh, make it make themselves really known with the uh, third possible addition, Leandro, trying to make a team this season, bro. It's so many stories in the NBA. LeBron James possibly passing Kareem this season for the NBA all-time scoring uh, title, bro. It's gonna be up in the 70 fucking six season of the NBA. And now that Ennis Canna is crying because he cannot get a job, it feels so good. Ennis Canna, how does it feel? I just want to know how does it feel? 
he had so much to say about LeBron James. Now he can't get a job. Look at you, Delonte West. Look at you, Ennis Canna. The LeBron James effect is real. How does it feel? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. If I see Delonte West in the street, I'm stepping over top of him like Allen Iverson did Tyron Lue in the finals. You're not going to disrespect LeBron James in that manner and think that life is going to be good. This is karma. Mark Cuban done reached out to this guy before to try to help him. Why do we keep seeing Delonte West go through this over and over and over and over again? It's karma. It's the disrespect. It's the LeBron James effect. Why don't y'all realize that, bro? Now look at Enos Canna. Playing for New York, sticking his chest out, wanting to fight LeBron James. He gets on these interviews. He talk about LeBron time in, time out. Now, now, what is Ennis Canna talking about? What is he crying about? Free agency is open for one month. Normally, I should already have received authors. The summer, I have not received one offer. Look at you, Ennis Canna. Tell me, how does it feel? You don't think the Lakers could use some rim protection that size? The Lakers are known for picking up players like Ennis Canna just to fill the roster. But that big mouth of yours, all that slick talk you had about LBJ, now you're going to pay. You can't get a job now. You can't get a job now. I got to talk to the bosses, bro. I got to talk to the bosses. This is insane. I've been trying to tell y'all. Watch y'all. Mouth when y'all talk about LeBron. You want to argue about anything on the basketball court when it comes to LeBron James? That's cool with me. I'm not LeBron James' bodyguard. None of that. I love to debate when it comes to LeBron. But when comments and things are made about LeBron James outside of basketball, that's just totally untrue, bro. I'll be having a problem with that because that's the face of our league. LeBron in these 1920 seasons has never been arrested. We don't hear a bunch of storylines about infidelity, him treating his wife, his family bad, his children bad. That guy has has really literally been a role model for us for two decades. Then you get these guys, they get on these interviews and they just be talking crazy. Now look at you, Delonte West. Look at Delonte West. If it wasn't for people clout chasing and filming him laying down on these streets and at these gas stations, Delonte West will be non-existent. Now, Enos Canna, who has so much to say about King James, cannot get a damn job. Even the Lakers wouldn't want to pick him up. That's what you get, man. That's what you get. I just wanted to know how does it feel. The LeBron James effect is real. I got to talk to the bosses, man. Seven Mitchell, man, you are now rocking with the best. This is the best of seven sports talk. I am about to sign off. Like, comment. If you're new to the channel, goddammit, subscribe. I appreciate the support. We will be tapping in a little bit later on. Make sure y'all listen in. New episode of the podcast, Best of Seven Sports Talk, is available. Myself and D Money, episode 134, is locked in, man, on all your favorite listening platforms. Wherever you like to listen to podcasts, search Best of Seven Sports Talk. Check out the new episode. I will catch you guys a little bit later on here on YouTube. I'll come back. I'll go live because I got a couple more things to talk about. But I just wanted to find out from Enos Canna, how the hell does it feel to now not be able to get a job after disrespecting LeBron James the way you have been doing over the last couple years? I'm out. Peace. 
All right, man. I want to thank you guys for listening in to another episode of the Best of Seven Sports Talk. I'm Seven Mitchell, man. Make sure you follow the show to be sure to be notified about the next episode. Also, I'll put the link tree link in the description so you can follow us on social media as well as donate and contribute to our platform. See you guys again on the next episode. Peace.